Hey guys, welcome back to Weird Futures Comic Talk. I'm Matt Kay, and today I'm talking about the infamous Iron Man. Like always, if you guys want to catch up on our current run, be sure and hit that link on the top corner of the screen or just head to our channel to watch past videos. Anyways, quick recap. Doctor Doom, after losing his godhood from Secret Wars, is now taking over the role of Iron Man for Tony Stark, who is in a coma-like state after the end of Civil War II. At the end of the last issue, he was visiting Dr. Amara Pereira, Stark's former lover, before being attacked by his old enemy, the Thing of Fantastic Four fame. So let's do it! Infamous Iron Man 3 by Bendis. We start off by seeing Mama Doom, who is confirmed to be alive at the end of issue 1, doing some crazy black magic before being notified by a character off-panel that her son is up to something. Back to the Thing and Doom, they begin clashing on the street. With the Thing getting knocked out of the apartment like usual hero versus hero fights go, they have no care for their surroundings or the poor lady whose apartment they just destroyed. Amara wakes up some time later in a random house where she exits to find Doom meditating in front of his armor. We get some typical Bendis dialogue where he explains how they are now connected and she can't do much because of their involvement together, despite the fact that we don't know why Doom is still hanging around her. He goes on to explain in a very long story why he is trying to replace Tony Stark by going all the way back to the beginning of Secret Wars where he was a god who ended up failing at the job because he wasn't into it, and he decided maybe it's because I'm not supposed to be a villain, but a hero. He states that he had always admired Tony Stark and saw himself in him, and decided that when Stark fell, he would take on the mantle of Iron Man. Amara isn't buying it, and states that a monster of Doom's caliber can't be redeemed, and demands that she is taken back home, which Doom quickly does with a teleportation spell. We go back to the Thing, who is still searching for Doom after their last fight. He searches in Doom's lab, until we see his rocky hide start to fall off, as he comes face to face with Doom's mom. So there we go, that was the issue. Nothing too big from this comic yet, which is not surprising seeing as this is Marvel's golden boy who is writing this. First problem, how did the fight with the Thing and Doom end? We don't even get an explanation. We can assume that he teleports out of there, but why does Amara wake up after 14 hours with no memory and in Doom's house in a bed? Did he use a roofie spell? Because it kind of seems like that's what went on. Two, this is the former Doctor Doom. I, I get that the Thing has the most experience with him, but seeing what he is capable of, how are they not sending every possible hero they can at him? As far as they know, he could just be scheming like he usually does. 3. Doom mentions Secret Wars, and he states how he wanted to be like Stark, but how is Reed Richards not even mentioned once? And I'm talking about Mr. Fantastic, leader of the Fantastic Four, Doom's greatest rival that pretty much ended the Secret Wars, he wasn't mentioned once. And what about Doctor Strange? They were on that world of Doom's creation for years, and he hasn't even contacted him yet. Finally, the final problem with Doom is, we always knew he was a villain, he always knew he was a villain, but he also felt everything he did was ultimately for the good of humanity. It's kind of surprising to see him change his mind like that. I like the concept of Doom taking over as Iron Man, I really do, but so far, it doesn't look like it's being executed well. If you're interested, Infamous Iron Man 4 will be on sale January 25th. Like always, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next week.